What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Saints Row being delayed. Be being delayed, actually, by uh, quite a bit. So, obviously, this is the Saints Row reboot. It was originally supposed to come out on February 25th, 2022. And now it's going to be coming out on August 23rd, 2022. So, basically, a six-month delay. This was actually announced last night at a 9.30. I actually don't know what what uh, time zone of 9.30. I actually remember it was uh, pretty darn late. I think Pacific time. So uh, what a time to, uh, you know, announce a delay. But, you know, I want to talk about it very briefly. Obviously, there's not too much to talk about. Six months, pretty substantial. Um, I would have said, you know, when I first saw the delay, right, I didn't click it. I didn't see when it had been moved to. But I was like, I wonder, the first thing that comes to mind is I wonder if they just get scared of February, right? Because February's got a lot, namely Dying Light 2 is obviously a big one. Elden Ring, I believe, was supposed to come out the same day as Saints Row because Elden Ring was delayed onto it. So Elden Ring would have been on the same day. Uh, Dying Light 2 would, was the beginning of the month. Actually, Life is Strange remastered as well, but Dying Light's a big game right in the beginning. And then in the middle of the month, you had Horizon, Forbidden West, and then Sifu. Sifu, maybe not the biggest game in the world, but one that I'm very much you know, looking forward to. So it's a packed, even if you take that out, you have Elden Ring, Horizon, Dying Light in the reverse order. That's that's some big games that would actually, like, I would say scare a lot of people if only one of those games came out relatively close to your game, not to mention, you know, all three of them. So that was, you know, if I were to delay the game or if I were to want to delay the game, I would do it simply because of that for like a month or two. Obviously, that's so that's the original thought, right? Obviously, I think there's more to it than that because, you know, if, if it was only because of that or if that was even the primary, you know, reason, you probably only delay it like a month, month and a half. Remember, gaming developers don't just like sit on games for like six to 12 months like movie studios. They could get delayed a year. The movie could just literally not be touched and then just comes out when it, you know, when it uh, is supposed to. But gaming, you know, you, you don't really do that for games. So I would imagine it's for, you know, a lot of other reasons. And obviously that's what's being, you know, hint at, uh, hinted at that they want to do their vision justice, doing some fine tuning, uh, tuning, and there won't be much change in the game outside of overall quality and polish. So it's actually kind of like an in-between thing. You know, I, I actually almost think it's a, it's a middle point between not wanting to come out in late February and then, you know, you could just say, well, we could use those extra month to, uh, months to fine-tune and polish the game. Regardless, by the way, maybe I should have said this right away. Like, I'm completely okay with games, you know, being delayed. I've said that many times on the channel. But for new people, right, there's always new people. I'm not like, you know, the game needs to release tomorrow. Release it when it's ready. I'm pretty uh, not impressed by what Saints Row is doing here. Uh, a lot of stuff they've been showing. Actually, everything they've shown has not exactly been what I'm looking for or been impressed with at all. They did say that there's gameplay coming, you know, relatively soon over the next maybe like month or so. So maybe we'll get something, you know, before the end of the year or in January. Good, because it kind of needs to win me over. Uh, I will say, though, on those are all negatives. On the positive side, like now it's in the middle of nowhere in terms of when it's releasing. Now we don't know if any other games, you know, August is very, very far away. We don't know if other games will be around there, but... It's definitely, it seems like it's, because I can tell you right now, I was not going to get the game day one, uh, where uh, based off of what I think of it, and based off of it releasing, you know, again, like four days, five days after Horizon, or like a week after, a couple days after Sifu, same day as Elden Ring, it was just, it was not going to happen. So it does have a better shot now, but it does, uh, I think, have some work to do as well with the kind of game that it is. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And I do a brand new video on this channel every single day. And so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.